Okay guys, so today we have a news update. Now this released like yesterday or so or the day before, but we got a V Jump page of the new Atachi Raid and some new details of some upcoming events and stuff for Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing. Now I was gonna make this the other day, but my girlfriend was over and I was like, you know, there was not a lot of information about it out anyway, because it was none of it was translated, so we couldn't read any of it. So I was like, you know, let's wait until we get some more information now. Now unfortunately Mystic beat it to me, so if you want to see someone else's perspective on it because he goes into more of his thoughts and speculation so it's always nice to see other people's like thoughts on something so you don't just watch my video and be like oh yeah it's gonna be this you can watch someone else's video but like, oh yeah this is his idea this one sounds a lot cooler you know so make sure you go check out his video i'll have it linked down in the comment section since he did beat me to doing this video first so i want to give him credit for doing it first okay so the first thing we're going to start off with is this on the left side new additions send your opponent flying with ninjutsu tech Techniques do massive damage with flashy attacks. Send it to these special zones and rank up extra damage. Destroy your opponent with your array of special ninjutsu techniques. Incorporated them into your strategy and aim for victory. Blow your opponent away and. Oh, I was supposed to read that first before the destroy, but who cares? Next one, lowering your opponent here could give you the upper hand. You can be damaged while in these areas, so be careful. There are special areas in the game like poisonous zones, while in these zones you can take damage and receive other status effects. Use the clever formation to lower your opponents in them, getting caught in the spell disaster. Now, pretty much with these two, go over this left panel here this goes over the new system of where you can knock your opponents back some type of not back effect so normally what you do is you use a ninjutsu or something and your the guy that you use it on either dies or he stays there but now with this new incorporation of these traps which i'll go over in a second that you are now able to use a ninjutsu I believe it's only ninjutsu. Now, use a ninjutsu, and a certain ninjutsu probably has a certain range it can knock back. That would be cool, or maybe they all only knock back a certain range. Like, every ninjutsu only knocks them back, like, two or three steps. Or maybe, like, Daedara's C3 knocks them back, like, half the um, on the other side of the map, or something like that. You know, that would be cool. I would like to see where different characters do different range knockbacks. And over here on the right side, this is explaining the new trap system. Now, they don't go into the great detail about it because you know, this is just a teaser you know they're like tickling our pickles a little bit you know so pretty much there's gonna be these new zones that you could activate these traps with so pretty much I'm guessing if uh if you walk into the zone it activates this poison and gas or whatever a trap it is maybe it's like a log trap like a trip wire or something or if you knock your opponent back into it it does the same thing now as we can see from this screen here if I could zoom in a little bit more but right here on the left we can see that the enemies are in it and that they're taking 25 probably a lot more than 25 slip damage because this is a poison gas effect but also it does 20 oh so we look on the right side it is 25 so on on the right side you can see that it does 25 to you as well now is it 25 for amount of time you stay in there or every turn we don't know about that does it stack like I said, no clue. So this will give a better feel to Naruto because the fighting is kind of bland. You do the same thing. You stall, you do this, you do that. You hit him with the ninjas, you stall. That's all you do, pretty much. You It's boring. But with this, it adds a little bit more of a variety to it because maybe now with some of the objectives, this will be, oh, you get three pearls for killing the boss with a trap or something. Kind of like they have it in the story mode with the three-person combination or killing them with the ninjutsu. Maybe they'll incorporate this that would be pretty cool maybe there's um they'll add in some extra rewards for like knocking characters back or something like that oh by the way shout out to um shonen jump games i'll have them linked in the description as well they're the people that actually translated this for us so now we're going over to the itachi take your strongest team and challenge itachi slip through sosuno's fierce attacks unleash your ninjutsu itachi appears in the, this game as the ultimate boss unleash all of your techniques to deliver the most damage and complete this mission now Itachi is a barrier user as you can see this is Sosuno if you don't know what Susano is make sure you just google it you'll see what it is but pretty much it's the Uchiha's 
main weapon. You, as you should know, all your Chiyas have Strawing Guns, and then the Strawing King can then turn into the Mangekyo. And with two Mangekyos, each eye possesses a certain power. The left eye possesses a type of Genjutsu, and the right eye possesses Amaterasu. And then together, they have the Sosuno. Now, this Sosuno, every time we see Sosuno used in the anime, it is a barrier technique. They use it to block damage, and then thus they use the Sosuno to continually to attack with. Now, when this first released, and we figured out Itachi was going to be the S rank impact raid balls, and with the Sasuke time period that the Sasuke's from, I already knew that when it was translated that Itachi would have a barrier that he would use Sosuno. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone in the Discord, and I'll also put it in my comment section after I did the update video. So I already knew this that Itachi would have the Sosuno, but my biggest thought is that if Sasuke has the Sosuno, not Sasuke. Itachi has a Sosuno, and he's a raid character. And you get him. His Sosuno is going to be his ability. How is they going? How are they going to tie in Sosuno as a barrier type with his ability? Now, the only way I think they could do this is that pretty much doing it the way they have Itachi on screen now, where he takes up half the screen with his Sosuno. But how are they going to incorporate this when you're using Itachi? Because most likely Itachi will be just a regular Itachi, just like the one we see on the left side here. He'll just be a regular Itachi, you know, just chilling, and then use a ninjutsu or his secret technique and then turn to Sosuno. Now, I really hope that they don't just have Sosuno pop up and then have Sosuno go away. That would suck. I would be completely devastated. I'll be very angry. If you're going to incorporate Sosuno, make sure the Sosuno stays on the map. But like I said, I don't know how they will incorporate this with the actual him being on your team and hope maybe his art is just a full Sosuno art that would be dope I would love to see that as well but that's like all the speculation we can do for that as right now but there's one more thing actually is if Sosuno will be the only um, boss right there now would it be like the Adria event where you would have to face Jiraiya and then you go and face Gamabunta would it be like you face Itachi at the end of the second stage and third stage he's already in his Sosuno form or do you go into the third stage boss battle face Itachi and then him activate his Sosuno that is what I would like to see kind of like how in Dokkan battle you beat someone and then they just power up again you have to face them full health again I would like to see that that will add a lot more challenging effect to the game now for the last panel we see it right here on the far right and this spring a new mode will be added there will be missions with new goals to aim for while you can capture your opponent you will have ninja with various abilities to help you to, with this so do not neglect your training keep your eyes on the new mode as you train and support the ninja so I don't know what they'll do with this new mode but they, they kind of hint towards it I'm guessing this could be a little hint right here on the first um, sentence right here there will be a mission with the new goals to aim for why you capture your opponent now I'm guessing what they mean by the capture your opponent is that you actually have to kill your opponent or maybe you physically have to capture them. Like, kind of like Pokemon in a way. You get them to a certain amount of health and then you have certain ninja as they say here. You will have ninja with various abilities to help you do this. Maybe ninjas like Shikamaru or in Shikamaru's dad or, or Yamato with his, his cage his wooden cage maybe you have to use those ninjas to full on capture these people to complete the mission maybe it's something like you're not allowed to kill it or you kill it you felt the mission or something like that that would be completely amazing and I believe that is it for this news update now if you guys enjoy the video make sure you drop a like leave me a comment down below if you're hyped for this and remember to check out mystics video because he went over this first and I will always like to give credit to people who did it and also check out the shonen jump the shonen games.com page also be linked down in the description or in the comment section and also make sure you check out some of the SAO videos I'm gonna keep doing them and anyway guys I'll see you the fuck later peace